Christianity is not a holiday. Christianity is not a comfort zone. Christianity is not my way. Christianity is nothing to do with me. It's got to do with God, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory and honor and worship to His holy and mighty name. Period. There is no other God but Him. This is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for He is God revealed in the flesh. And if you stand in the court of God and make an oath, and this is the oath, you swear you will tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Well, that truth is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my dear judge. Because theologically speaking, the truth is above time. Reality is under the time. That's why reality changes, truth never changes. What makes us change is time. Because since we are under the mercy of time, when I talk about myself, I say yesterday I was, today I am, tomorrow I will be. Yesterday I was a little baby, today I'm a grown up, tomorrow I'm an old man. Time is the only reason for change. But the moment you are above the time, you never change because there is no time to change you. And this is why when the Holy Bible talks about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, sweetheart of all sweethearts, it says yesterday, not was, he is present tense, not past tense. Jesus yesterday is, today is and forever. Same same Jesus why because he is above the time he is the creator of time he changes the time nothing changes him Moses if my people at the foot of the mountain are asking what is my name you better tell them I am that I am the ever continuous present tense I am continuous present tense never ceasing for with me there is no time. I am above and beyond time because I created it. And that's the truth. When I make you Andrew, you become serious. You don't take things lightly. You don't take things for granted. You think of everything and give it its value purpose not just value but purpose before value then when you're serious I'll make you James James is a Hebrew Aramaic name Yaqob <laughs> that's the proper pronunciation Yaqob Yaqob literally means following in the footprints of someone else following in the footsteps of someone else when you come to me the Lord says when you come and allow me to make you Simon you listen to me then when you listen to me I'll make you the, the unbreakable unshakable Peter when I make you Peter then you'll become serious Andrew when you are serious about everything you will follow your Lord Jesus in his footsteps James.